Jesus came to the conclusion, please hear this, that preaching the word, Luke 20 says that he was preaching the gospel. And so Jesus determined the most fruitful, impactful, God-glorifying thing that he could be doing with the little time that he had left was to preach and proclaim the word and the good news of the gospel. And that's what would yield the greatest impact for the glory of God and the good of the nations. And so for application there, friends, very quickly, if in John, 1 John chapter 2, you and I are called to walk and to live as Jesus lived, surely on two levels there for application. Firstly, personally, every one of us have to take stock as to how we are redeeming our time. We've got to take stock as to how we are redeeming the vapor, the breath of our lives for the greatest good of God's glory. How are we showing? How are we sharing the good news of the gospel? Because heaven knows, here's just an observation. This world provides us countless avenues to spend, let me say, waste, squander our time on things that carry very little eternal value. Can I get a witness in God's house today? Not suggesting that we eradicate leisure, eradicate rest, eradicate entertainment, but I do think it would be helpful to wrestle with how much time you are spending on activities that carry very little spiritual significance and evaluate what kingdom benefits, if any, those pursuits are producing. And if zero spiritual benefit, then how you can repurpose that time, those endeavors for greater impact for the kingdom of God and your relationship with him. We need to be walking like Jesus walked, living like Jesus was living. And he was living intentionally, personally. Secondly, corporately, let this be a reminder to the church at large, including our church, that we have to be about the work of the gospel, not distracted by other pursuits not distracted by other dialogues, not distracted by other trends, agendas, or topics. Hear this, the most impactful thing that we can do for our community, our world, our family, and our friendships is drive one another to the word of God and the good news of the gospel. Can I get an amen today? Uh, This practice must always take precedence among us. Why? Because when we teach the word, the lost are saved. When we teach the word, the saved are discipled. When we teach the word, the disciples are sent. Sent. That's the essence of what Christ is doing here. That's what he wants the apostles to do. Not only hear the word, do the word, not only do the word, but pass it along on temple days, fishing days, study days, wedding days, on travel days. Preach the gospel, learn the gospel, live the gospel, and pass it along. This has always got to be the agenda of God's church. And as long as we are here together, that's what will take precedence among us. At Providence City Church. You can exp- Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 